I'm Dean Witters. I play 219 games in the NRL and the UK Super League. I currently work at the National Rugby League as Indigenous Pathways Manager and coach of the Parramatta Eels NRLW team. Being born in Armbrough, I was everyone's crazy about rugby league up there. And especially for the Aboriginal community, the, the Narwhal Eels is the team that everyone sort of supports. And my dad was the coach and captain and all my uncles played. So born with a footy in my hands, you know, all the, all the young kids, all my cousins and stuff, that's what, what we did. We were just obsessed with it, you know, and I grew up with, with a, the biggest love of rugby league. And ever since I can remember, I, I wanted to be an NRL player. I was a 13, 14 year old when Artie Beetson and those guys sort of come to my house and or I'd receive letters and, and phone calls from different different NRL clubs um, and scouts trying to sign me. But Artie Beetson was just an important part in that part of my life, you know. And he made me really believe that NRL football and playing for the Roosters was, was going to be my future. So Artie definitely, you know, he played a massive part in that, that, that period of my life. The best thing about my debut, I think, was uh, Brad Fittler was the one who pushed for me to be selected in the team. I found out of people later. Uh, I'd been playing reserve grade and been doing really well all year, um, but it didn't look like I was going to get a chance in first grade at the Roosters. But then Freddie sort of demanded that I'd be picked and, and got a chance. And one of the key things I remember in my early games was um, throwing a, a, an offload around the back of Matty Guy, I think it was. And, and Freddie ran onto it. He just said to me, he goes, I knew you'd get that ball away. I knew you'd be able to do it. And it sort of gave me the confidence to go, well, he believes in me at this and this at this level. So I want to you know, make, it, make a career out of this. The Roosters wanted me to stay, but Parramatta were the number one team in the competition at that time. And they had you know, Nathan Highmarsh, Andrew Ryan. I just wanted to be out there. They were, they were killing everything. I remember how good it was that year, you know, we'd just, we'd go out and we'd play against teams and it, it was like it, it would just automatically click into gear and we'd do it without effort. We'd get through the hard parts of games and be able to come out the other side and we'd get to that last, sort of that semi, that preliminary final against the Cowboys and we'd beaten the Cowboys, I think it was in the second last round or the last round of the competition, we'd smashed them. Like we'd beat them by 30, 40 points and uh, it was only, only uh, I think, 25 minutes into the game and the Cowboys were already 14 points up on us. So it was a, a sort of disbelief. I remember at the end, just sitting there at half time and just being, how the hell are we so far behind these guys? Probably the biggest regret I've got in my footy career is that day against the Cowboys when we blew it and obviously they went into the grand final next week against the Tigers and got beat. But that was certainly Parramatta's year that year to, to win a competition. And I know the Eels, when they look through the 2000s, uh, the Eels supporters, they look at a lot of opportunities that, that they missed and, and teams that should have won premierships but didn't. They're obviously the club that the Indigenous people love, you know, and they have a great effect on the Indigenous community here in Sydney through Redfern and La Perouse communities, but also in the country they're loved and they, they have a great effect there as well. And, and when I heard their ideas about how Russell Crowe wanted to rebuild the club and some of the things he wanted to implement in the club, it just, like, it, like it had my name written all over it. I look back at my footy with a little bit of regret, regret because uh, I played a lot of different positions and it probably didn't help me play my best football at South. I didn't settle on one position. I played a lot in the halves, uh, sometimes even in the centres at the Rabbitohs over those two seasons. I just loved the, what, what South were doing off the field and still that's, that's why I'm a South fan and I love the Rabbitohs because I, um, I love what they do off the field. I always believed that I was going to make more of a difference off the field uh, when I finished playing and that I'd have more time to devote to some of the things that I, I was passionate about. And The education now around racism is really important and it's something that the NRL has led the way in. I think the, the games, we should be proud in the game that the, our game leads the way in this space. Sport's always a great connector for people, brings people together um, and things like culture, how they slowly bring it into the NRL with the ind Indigenous round. I feel like in, in racism and, and all those issues that we, we, we've done really well, but there's still a lot of stuff to do in this country. We've still got a long way to go and hopefully we keep progressing on that journey. I think my main priority was always to try and help people and to try and help the community and that's probably where I got caught into coaching 
And look, I love, I love that side of footy, you know, the coaching and preparing players, helping players, guiding them. So uh, it was probably a natural thing for me to fall into. You know, I, I really enjoy working with the women in the women's space where I've been involved the last few years. And there's some, some tremendous personalities and, and girls that are hunger to create a legacy and to build the pathway for the, for the women's game. And for me to be part of that is, is something really special. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy coaching. Uh, and then seeing, you know, like, like all coaches do, just seeing something that you do pay off for someone off the field is one of the biggest payoffs you can get. You know, it's not, not all about winning and, and scoring tries and player of the match performances on the field. It's about making a difference to someone's life off the field, I think is the most important part. I think that, you know, the, the, the football that we're going to see from the women over the next five to ten years, it's going to be crazy, the growth in that competition. You know, I think everyone plays footy to have fun and that's a component that I love, so I try and make it fun as well. Yeah.